Hey guys, my name is Mike Jensen, and welcome to this DVD on hard surface sculpting within ZBrush. Throughout this DVD, we're going to be using various techniques to uh, take this concept mesh that you see right here, and sculpt it, and clean it, and polish it, and detail it until we get something along the lines of this. We're going to be using various techniques from ZBrush 3.5 R3 as well as ZBrush 4, including the H polish and trim brushes, and extraction and group loops from R3 and the new clipping brushes and shadow box features from R4. In addition, we're going to touch on creating a custom UI within ZBrush to speed up the sculpting process, as well as creating custom menus and dropdowns such as this one. We'll then go on to cover the creation of custom brushes such as this that add mechanical details to the model. So we're going to start with a bit of concepting, and we're going to go over taking a very simple base mesh and bringing it to something such as this, that gives us an overall representation of what we want to achieve that we can use to create our high detail model. And then we're going to take the concept mesh and using the aid of various techniques such as extraction, shadow box, and remesh, we're going to go ahead and clean this model into something that is more representative of a high quality mechanical character. And to finish off the character, we're going to go ahead and go into the creation of highly intricate details that really bring the character to life. Uh, after going over this DVD, you should be well on your way to creating very complex sci-fi characters. And finally, we'll jump over to 3D Studio Max, where we can use V-Ray to render out several passes. And with those passes, we're going to go ahead and come into Photoshop here. And we're going to use the passes to create a final composite um, that you can see right here. And we're going to add a lot of wear and tear to the character to make it appear all worn out. And so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 